Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at side slipping a canoe. This is a way of using the momentum of the boat to actually move the boat sideways rather than doing a whole series of draw strokes. Very useful both on white water and in flat water situations. Once you've done an initial practice and played with the ideas of this video, it is very useful to give yourself a target. This may be a buoy, or in the American, a buoy in the water, or here a stick, and that gives you a clear indication how well you're managing to make that move sideways. With the placement of the paddle for the hanging draw, or the cross deck hanging draw, there is a great deal of subtlety. The leading edge of the blade the one cutting through the water is tilted slightly away from the boat. This means that the water is hitting the inside face of the blade and providing a pull to the side. In putting the blade into the water, it is placed pretty well parallel to the side of the boat before opening to that pressure. The initial blade placement is alongside my hip but I may need to move it forward or backwards to correct any yawing, any movement of the boat. The chest is rotated well to the paddling side. The arms are in a strong position and the top thumb is facing towards the back of the boat. Not immediately obvious, but once in play there are subtle little differences in movement with the paddle, pushing it forward or back to affect the boat differently and to correct any swing. We can, in addition to doing the hanging draw, we can do the cross deck hanging draw. Again, the cutting or leading edge of the blade is tilted slightly away from the boat to get the pull. So here the, the knees have moved very slightly to the offside. The chest is rotated as far as I can, if you can do more, better still, and the top thumb is facing forwards. And now we have the running pry. In the running pry, the cutting or leading edge of the blade is tilted slightly towards the boat. The shaft of the paddle is resting against the hull of the boat, which removes all the pressure from me. Finished off with a whole series of pry strokes if I need to make extra distance sideways. This is a difficult stroke to control, so I deliberately put it in too far forwards, leaning the blade and shaft against the side of the boat, that pushes the nose and then I can move the blade backwards. A little extra power on the right to push the nose across to the left. Then put it in too far forward and the slide back is very obvious. Finished off with a couple of pries. And of course we can do the same manoeuvre tandem. Here a hanging draw is coupled with a stern rudder at the back. The stern rudder pushing the stern across. Here, a cross bow hanging draw is coupled with a stern hanging draw, and the stern paddler's hanging draw is behind him, so he has to rotate the, the chest massively to protect the shoulders. Nice. In the third example, a running pry at the bow is coupled with a hanging draw at the stern. In real situations, it's very often a last minute move, and so the bow paddler quickly pulls the bow, and then the stern has a catch up. And a little bit of play, if you can do it forwards, I like to play with doing it backwards. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.